Hello, I'm Dennis Michael Lynch, and I thank you for joining me this evening. Her name is Diamond Lavish Reynolds. She's the woman who took the video on Facebook Live of Mr. Castle, Philandro Castle, after he was shot by a police officer. But is she credible, and is he credible, because the media and everybody else is around them is making them sound as if they're two of the most perfect people in America. That's the question we address in the DML report. I'm a truth seeker. When I was told that the borders were secure, I went down to the border and I dug and I dug and I dug and I showed America things that they had never seen before. Fox News had me on constantly. I had images and videos and stories. And today I sit back here and as everybody's sort of opening their eyes to it, I say I've known that a long time ago. I have a good sense for when things just don't seem right. And this whole thing that took place in Minnesota and the woman shooting the video and how calm she was and a little kid being in the back and all the different stuff that's going on with these press conferences, something just didn't seem right to me. And so why the reason I don't have a shirt and tie on tonight is because I've been through the night doing what I do best, which is DML investigates. That being said, first thing I would like to play is a press conference that Diamond Lavish Reynolds held a day or a couple days after the whole shooting took place. Take a listen. They pulled us over on the side of the road, asked for license and registration. As he was reaching for his license and registration, he told the officer that he was licensed to carry and had a bare arm. As he got back comfortable, the police took four or five shots at him for no reason. This song? They took his life for no reason. Okay, now this video, which we will show you again, it picks up after the gentleman was already shot. So that's something that, you know, where it's always going to wind up being this woman's word versus the police's word. Now that said, this woman says that her daughter, and if you know anything about her, and you will, you'll see her daughter is always with her. This is what she said at that same press conference about her daughter. That's so, right, so. For my daughter, and my daughter's been being stronger than me. You do it, that little girl, she is the warrior she behind it. Without this little angel on my side, I would never have been able to make it through this. Without that little girl, she prayed for, for me. We she told me you. she would never leave my side. And she's been by me throughout all of this. So she's the one who needs the prayer, you guys, because I will be okay. But I don't know if I can say the same for my four-year-old daughter. Damn. I don't know if I can say the same for her. Now keep in mind, her daughter is not the daughter of Philandro Castile, the man who was shot and killed. He is a boyfriend and they say fiance, all right? And so he has been sort of, I don't know, part of the family, if you will. But so obviously you can see she's very concerned about her daughter. She loves her very much. And who wouldn't, right? Okay. Since all this has happened, uh, Miss Reynolds has become uh, part of every media show there is, including The View, which she was on this morning. We start by showing you, again, her video taken in Minnesota. Go. We're waiting for a back. I will, sir. No worries. I will. He just shot his arm off. We got pulled yeah. over on Larpener. I told him not to reach for it. I told him to get his hand out. Well, you, know, uh, you know, we just saw that video of you when there's your, your boyfriend lying there and this is all going on. And yet you had the presence of mind to pull out your phone and do this live streaming. I'm, I'm in awe of that. How did you, what were you thinking? How did you come up with that? It was really God. Um, I really wanted to make sure that no matter what, my side, his side, our side of the story could be viewed by the people and they could be the ones to decipher what to take about that. But, but, but I'm curious what went on in your mind that in you thought mind, that you could do this? It was just to, one, first stay calm for my daughter. Yeah. Any sudden moves I was feeling, he, any nervousness would have made the police officer strike us mm -hmm. so it was in my best interest and in my daughter's best interest to stay calm and i'm very in tune to social media so it was in my best interest as well as my boyfriend's best interest 
She's very in tuned to social media. You have no idea how in tuned she is. But before we get that, I want to be very I want to be very clear. I come from a family of police officers, lots of them. And so what's going to happen is the media is going to basically find this police officer guilty. He's never going to get a fair shot unless people like yours truly brings out the real facts here. That said, this woman is a complete narcissist. You don't believe me? Roll the tape of her mother. Why do you think your daughter recorded? I mean, she went to her phone. What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, it's, it's her avenue to communicate. Diamond is a narcissistic Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat junkie. Okay, now, to prove her mother right, a few days prior to the shooting that was covered, Diamond, who calls herself Lavish, she's given herself a new name, Lavish, on Facebook, she filmed herself and Castile and the daughter in a car again. Take a look at this one. This girl doesn't look like the same girl we saw in The View. Okay, Dad. Okay, so they're smoking weed in a car in front of a four-year-old, and not only was she smoking it, but you saw that Castile was smoking it. And Castile, and we'll play these videos tomorrow night, has been, everybody who knows him, oh, he was a role, one person from the school he worked at said he was a role model. He was a role model for other children. I don't know about that, but I'll tell you what. I'll say, all right, they were parked in a car. Up, ah, just got to look a little further, and you'll see that they also smoke weed when they're driving the car with the little girl in the back. Okay, now I'm going to show you another Facebook Live video of where she's smoking cigarettes and drinking Hennessy. Watch this because what I come back to tell you afterwards is going to blow your mind. Go. We already cracked that bitch one time. If you saw the top of the video, she posted that on June 15th. Here comes a post that she had a week earlier. Put it up. Oh my God, I'm so excited I'm having a boy. Yes, thank God all I ever wanted was a son, and now I got one. This woman is pregnant. She knows the sex of her child, and she's sitting there downing booze, and she's smoking pot, and she's smoking cigarettes. But we ain't done yet, all right? I'm going to play for you a video that lasts for 1 minute and 53 seconds. It, you have to watch the whole thing. This woman filmed this on Memorial Day. This is not a mother who really cares about her daughter, daughter in the way she's putting it on The View. This is a woman who cannot be considered credible. Watch this. Show me off. You already know that I'm the perfect one. Girl, I'm a two feel like a champion. Ever since I got with you, I feel like I'm the one with a trophy. You could get out. I'm a trophy. I want me a trophy. I'm a trophy. You can rock what you want and be fly as You ain't gotta be like nobody else. Cause I'm myself. And it's since I got with you, I feel like I don't want me a trophy. Get out of my room! Don't have no kids, y'all. If y'all ain't got no kids, don't have none. They worse as hell. 
Okay, well, tonight you're not here yet, so. Okay, you'll get your bike. Okay, you'll get your bike when they come back from Miami. You could go get your bike. I wish I was down there with them, but, you know. You finna stand in the corner. Hold up, hold down. Jesus, hold down. It's about to be lit today, baby. Sip on a little some some. Eat on a little some some. Smoke on a little some some. I need to loosen these strings up. Let me be very clear. I think everybody is entitled to a fair trial, but they are trying this police officer before he ever even gets to the courthouse, and that is not permissible. And this is why the American people trust the media less than they do Congress, and that says something.